In the 80s, there was an explosion of sitcoms that changed television forever. Consider titles like Growing Pains, It's Gary Shandling Show, and The Facts of Life. Some of these shows are considered among the best sitcoms ever made. While the laughs may still be fondly in your memory, you may have forgotten about some of the stars. Unfortunately, some of the actors and actresses who shined in these sitcoms have passed away. Keep watching to discover TV actors who died without you knowing. Alan Thicke, Growing Pains Alan Thicke started out doing comedy in Canada where he was born. He was the host of a talk show called The Alan Thicke Show. His comedy skills were instantly recognized. He was so popular in Canada that TV execs thought he should make the transfer to the U.S. screens. Thicke agreed and he was set up with the late-night talk show Thick of Night. Though the product was similar to his Canadian series, audiences still favored the wildly popular Johnny Carson show. The failure to grasp attention led to Thicke's series only lasting one season. But he wasn't finished. Thicke was about to make his big break. In 1985, he was cast as the lead in the ABC comedy Growing Pains. The show tells the adventures of a doctor and a journalist raising three kids. The family comedy was wildly popular and ran for seven seasons. The traction was due in part to Thicke's memorable character Dr. Jason Seaver, for which he was nominated for a Golden Globe. Alan Thicke had a fatal heart attack at the age of 69 in 2016. He survived by his three sons, one of whom is musician Robin Thicke. Alan Thicke's sitcom work led to his induction into Canada's Walk of Fame. Harry Anderson, Night Court 1984's Night Court was a funny idea for a series. A fun-loving judge keeps an eye on and plays a part in the hilarious hijinks that occur in hearings of his Night Court. No one could have played Judge Harry T. Stone as well as Harry Anderson. Anderson began his career on SNL and The Mike Douglas Show. He paired his stand-up comedy with his skills as a sleight-of-hand magician. As it turns out, Anderson was ready-made for a sitcom. He had such a unique and magnetic personality that his character on Night Court didn't require him to change too much. Even his penchant for magic was written into his character. The series was a smash hit. It ran for nine seasons and almost 200 episodes. Anderson's character was a riot, too. He received Emmy nominations three years in a row for his portrayal of Judge Stone. In 2018, Harry Anderson was hospitalized with influenza. After battling the illness for several months, he died at the age of 65. Gary Shandling, It's Gary Shandling's Show Gary Shandling bounced around the comedy scene in the 70s and 80s. He was on daytime TV, did stand-up shows, and was a regular guest on The Johnny Carson Show. Shandling was such a force of comedy, it was only a matter of time before he got his own show. However, his comedy was so progressive, his show was not going to be a run-of-the-mill sitcom. Working with Showtime, It's Gary Shandling's Show makes fun of all the conventional tropes in TV comedy. The series focuses on a TV and sitcom actor, and it was filmed on a purposely fake-looking set. Yet the most memorable trope was the series breaking the fourth wall and talking to the audience. This innovation and meta-humor created by Shandling made him a household name of comedy during the 90s. One of his last roles was a very funny cameo playing a villain to Tony Stark in Iron Man 2. In 2016, Shandling suffered from a blood clot in his heart. He died at age 66. Although his death is tragic, he'll always be remembered for changing sitcoms with It's Gary Shandling Show. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Faxverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. Charlotte Ray, The Facts of Life Although she started on different strokes, it was the spin-off series, The Facts of Life, that galvanized Charlotte Ray's career. Ray's character, Edna Garrett, began as a maid, but she was developed into a house mother to an all-girls boarding school. The Facts of Life ran from 1979 to 1988. In a 200-plus episode span, it became one of the longest-running comedy series of the decade. The Facts of Life is probably Charlotte Ray's most famous role. In 1982, she took home the Emmy for Best Actress in a Comedy Series. In 2017, after a seven-year battle with pancreatic cancer, she died at age 92. But this sitcom is not all that defines her career. In six decades in the industry, she had two Tony nominations for her work on stage, acted in dozens of films, and was a staple of comedy TV. Leslie Nielsen, Police Squad If slapstick comedy has a name, it's Leslie Nielsen. The film Airplane is more than enough to make this actor a comedic legend. Yet Nielsen also brought his iconic comedy to TV. In 1982, ABC debuted Police Squad. 
The show starring Nielsen is a spoof on the dozens of cop procedurals that were popular at the time. Police Squad was rife with gags, wordplay, slapstick, and non sequiturs. Unfortunately, the show didn't catch on with audiences fast enough. After only six episodes, they pulled the plug. In its short run, the show did have a cult following. Police Squad is ranked by TV Guide as the top 10 show that was canceled too soon. It wasn't all bad, Police Squad did have a legacy. The sitcom was directly responsible for inspiring Nielsen's Naked Gun comedy films. Nielsen died from complications of pneumonia at 84 in 2010. Dixie Carter, Designing Woman Like Charlotte Ray, Dixie Carter also made a name for herself on different strokes. She joined the series later on, but quickly became a fan favorite. In this capacity, Carter proved she had the chops to play the leading role in a sitcom. She was approached to be in 1986's Designing Women. The show focused on the lives of women who worked at an interior design company in Atlanta. Though Designing Women featured an ensemble cast, it was Dixie Carter who emerged as the star. In 2010, Carter passed away from complications of cancer. She'll be fondly remembered for her part in Designing Women, which was progressive in its portrayal of women on television. Robert Guillaume, Benson One of the more interesting sitcom ideas was Soap. The show, airing on ABC, was a parody of all the daytime soap operas. It followed the antics of two families. Along the way were tongue-in-cheek stories of murder, kidnapping, and affairs. Among the favorite characters on the show was Robert Guillaume's Benson Dubois. Benson was the cook and butler for one of the families. Guillaume won the Emmy for Best Supporting Actor in 1979. His character was so popular, Guillaume starred in a spin-off series called Benson. In 1985, he took home another Emmy, this time for a leading actor. In 2017, he was diagnosed with cancer and died at the age of 89. Guillaume also had other noteworthy parts. He voiced Rafiki in The Lion King and was a series regular on Aaron Sorkin's Sports Night. Christopher Hewitt, Mr. Belvedere Christopher Hewitt played the snarky and refined English butler who winds up serving a middle-class American family of five in Pittsburgh. Hewitt didn't have much of a television presence before joining Mr. Belvedere. He had spent most of his career on stage projects. However, the producers believed he was perfect for Mr. Belvedere. They must have known what they were doing because the series ran for an impressive five years and 118 episodes. Hewitt passed away in his home in 2001. He was 80 years old. So what do you think? Which of these comedy legends will you miss the most? Do these 80s sitcoms hold up today? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.